Good afternoon. Welcome everyone. Happy, happy Thursday. You're tuned in to the one and only Wildcat Sanctuary here in Sandstone, Minnesota. We are forever home for Wildcats in need. Uh, we offer uh, a forever home to over 100 residents here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, um, varying from Lynx, like you see Miss Beauty the Lynx walking here in the background, all the way up to tigers and lions. And everything that you see here at the Wildcat Sanctuary is supported through private donations from awesome people just like you. Hey, Sydney Logan, thanks for joining us. Glad to see all of our TWS crew filing in. Susan Mensa, hello to you. Hello, Susan K. Look at Miss Beauty in that beautiful spotted coat. Beauty is a Eurasian Lynx. We have Beauty the Eurasian Lynx, Aria the Eurasian Lynx, and then Ramsey the Canada Lynx. Hey Liz Green. Hey Pam. Right off the bat, thank you for those 50 stars, Susan C. And uh, Miss Beauty had to stop to do some rubbing on her Miracle Match box. I'm sure many of you know by now that Triple Match is underway for the last two weeks of Miracle Match. Your donations are to rippled for the cats of the wildcat sanctuary that's uh i really kind of take that statement for granted because obviously i'm saying it here all the time but think about that triple donations you give five dollars it becomes 15 and so on uh i mean holy cow that is just such an incredible opportunity and uh really something that's not guaranteed it's uh it's we're uh, also you know we're Obviously, we have angel donors who have stepped in to propose this match to us, but without those who gave during the double match, we wouldn't be able to get to this triple match, and uh, it's just absolutely spectacular. And Beauty, Miss Beauty the Lynx, has gone to the other side of her cave. I can see that she's smelling around. If you look closely, there are some chicken pieces for her on top of her cave there. And of course, we saw her rubbing up against our Miracle Match box, and that was scented with a with a cat favorite. That was uh, Vic's Vapor Rub. Yeah, that's a crowd favorite, isn't it, Beauty? She says, "Yes, it is." Are you gonna come say hello to us, you beautiful spotted girl? Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Oh, you're gonna show me your butt? No peeing. And so, Beauty, if you're unfamiliar with Beauty's story. Um, just like many of our, our residents, Beauty came to us from a private owner act. That's no fun. Uh, Beauty's former over decided to finally surrender after Beauty was showing um, kind of signs of aggression and coming into her sexual maturity as a, as a cat and an apex predator and was becoming possessive and actually stalking um, some of the members in the, that household. And um, so Beauty's owner knew that uh, she had to do the right thing, that owning a wild animal like a lynx was not a good idea, not uh, a good idea for Beauty or, and not a good idea for her family as well. I'm going to catch up to Beauty who just walked away with her chicken piece. And so fortunately, this individual made the right decision to surrender her cat here to a compassionate forever home at the Wildcat Sanctuary. And uh, truthfully, a situation like that, you know, you might want to condemn the, the former owner of that cat, but um, truthfully, we believe that the, the condemnation really falls down on the breeders who are, who are breeding these exotic animals for pets and then selling them. Um, it's the breeders who aren't informing the uninformed purchasers of these cats that the, the truth that they don't make good pets, that they aren't suitable house pets. It's the breeders who are just looking for, um, you know, that, that payment to be submitted and the, the kind of the problems out of their hair, if you will. They send that, that uh, cat off. They've made their money. They don't care about uh, if that cat is surrendered or let go or whatever have you. It's uh, that to me always kind of uh, is just the biggest um, kind of billboard for how these breeders are only breeding for profit and not for the well-being of these animals. Liz Green says, agreed. The breeders are evil. We couldn't agree more, Liz. Shannon, uh, Shannon B says, can't wait to see when the cheetahs come. Oh, Shannon, you, uh, you and the rest of us, we are so excited to welcome Kitu and Lavani. Um, you guys saw that announcement that came out Tuesday along with our triple match that we're going to be welcoming two retired cheater brothers from the species survival program. Um, as a matter of fact, they're on the road now, Teresa and Kelly 
are on the road now and uh, we had a little bit of a miscommunication the other day we were hoping to go live again with them on the road but today is the day we're actually expecting at around 3 30 or 4 p.m for kelly and Teresa to go live from the road and give everyone an update on how kitu and lavani are doing as they uh, embark on their journey back to the wildcat sanctuary Christy, you are exactly right. Beauty is beautiful. I always, uh, I always catch myself saying that exact phrase to beauty. Daria is asking, have you been marked by a cat yet, Daria? Uh, after two years of being here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, I am not ashamed to say that yes, I have been marked by a cat. And uh, it was by a bobcat, not by a big cat, so it wasn't too much of a shower. But nonetheless, that's one thing that these bobcats like doing. We saw uh, a lynx, uh, excuse me, Beauty the Lynx come up and show us her fanny and try to mark me. Um, you know, just another indication, uh, you know, imagine having a wild pet like Beauty in your house and her scent marching like that. Um, just an under, another undesirable, one of many undesirable traits of uh, why a lynx would not make a good pet. Um, Cherry Hall, Cheryl Hall is asking, what is in the VIX that they like? Uh, you know, it's a good question. I'm guessing it's uh, maybe the menthol. I'm seeing a lot of people comment about how their house cats go crazy for Vicks Vapor Rub. What do you think, Miss Beauty? I see another piece of chicken up there for you. Hope everybody's doing well today. We're enjoying you having along uh, on this live post with Lynx Beauty. Hoping everybody's enjoying their Thursday. We're always, always loving... Uh, being able to share our residents with real time with you, our supporters, who do so much for them. And it looks like Beauty's taking her chicken piece to the other side of her cave, so let's go follow her around. Ah, and as you can see, blue sky for once. It uh, feels like it's been about a week with uh, overcast and cloudy skies, things have been a little bit gloomy. I'm sure you guys have noticed the uh, high amount of rainfall that we've been be getting, but it's uh, nice to finally have a reprieve um, from that wet spring weather and get a little sun to dry things out. And so Miss Beauty, I'm looking at her uh, eat her chicken, and um, obviously it takes a lot to get our cats fed. We are feeding out uh, individual meals to over 100 cats here every single day. That's 400 pounds of food that's being prepped every morning by our caretakers. Uh, 400 pounds, holy cow, just think about that number. Um, but anyways, uh, beauty, kind of question we're asked is, well, how much do the cats eat? And I think that's a good, uh, that's a good kind of tie into the individualized care that we offer our residents. And that our diets are based off of a certain percentage of the cat's body weight. So if a cat weighs X amount, it's going to have an X amount diet, an X pound diet. And uh, that's just a kind of unique um, kind of insight as to how we, um, you know, gauge our diets and how much each cat is getting what. And, uh, you know, like I said, just another glimpse into the uh, individualized and specified care we give our cats. There's no generalizations here at the Wild Cat Sanctuary. Everything is done with uh, with purpose and uh, has a meaning behind it and I think that's just a cool little insight for you guys to gain uh, an even better understanding of um, really the specific things that we're doing for each specific cat. And I'm, I'm a, a little ashamed of myself. Facebook has been acting weird. I cannot see that any donations have gone through but I do see a comment that just came through. Someone was thanking another follower for a donation. I see uh, Susan, uh, Lauren is thanking Susan. Uh, I see it's Susan with two M's, N's, so I'm gonna guess that's Susan. Thank you for that gift. Um, I apologize that I can't see it come through here on the phone, but um, of course we certainly appreciate your gift and uh, imagine the gift you just gave has been tripled. Now that's pretty awesome, beauty. Now just look at this shot. I mean, what what a you know spectacular example of the natural habitat offerings we give our cats. Um, you can see Beauty is kind of framed in these large pine trees here. She has 
two other large pine trees in her habitat. I see some birch trees a little farther back there. Of course, all that's going to be blossoming and blooming and uh, our habitats when we say natural we mean it um, we like to give our cats the most uh, natural offerings um, you know within reason obviously we are still mowing pathways for them when the grass gets tall and things of that nature but um, i think this frame right here is just a great example of the natural uh, free roaming habitats that every single one of our residents uh, benefit from looking at the cave there uh, Beauty enjoys that cave. Beauty, or excuse me, uh, baby Jenga across the way has a cave, uh, as well as uh, our, I'm looking at the five wild. They have a cave in many of our tiger habitats too. And again, I know I sound like a broken record, but when you look at all these habitat offerings, that's just one of many things that you can pat yourself on the back for, for enabling us, the Wildcat Sanctuary, to do those things for our residents. What do you think, beauty? What do you think, pretty lady? There's a lion song in the background. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe B is saying she's giving you a workout. You're right about that. It's uh, always fun when caretakers do a little forage feeding for the cats, and Beauty's certainly been enjoying herself. And uh, just to the right of Beauty is uh, that MM representing Miracle Match, an incredible time where your donations um, from now until April 30th are tripled. Absolutely spectacular. Let's see. Christy C is asking, do you have black panthers? Actually, black panthers uh, don't actually exist. Um, oftentimes, it is the black leopard that is mistakenly being called a panther, but in all reality, it is just a leopard uh, with melanistic genes, and that melanistic gene is gonna give it that black coat color. And uh, long and short, yes, we have Shadow the black leopard and Shazam the black leopard. And uh, to that point, if, uh, you know, we can only show so many photos and so many live posts of our 100 plus residents. And uh, to that point, just going to our website, www.wildcatsanctuary.org, we have a resident page that has every single one of our residents, not only our current residents, but also our former residents. Um, I, I love just going through that resident page. I often will read stories um, that I didn't even know about uh, one of our current residents or former residents. And again, that's just on our uh, website at www.wildcatsanctuary.org. Um, you know, not only will it have the full story of our residents, of that certain resident, but also uh, photos and video that you might not see on social media. Sydney Logan, wonderful donors today. Thank you, everyone. I, I'm going to thank everyone, too. I, like I said, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I cannot see what the donation total is, but surely know that I am very, very grateful and thankful for everyone who's been so generous to give today. Um, this, uh, this triple match, it, it kind of does uh, the work itself. Your donations are tripled, and uh, it is an excellent opportunity to take advantage of, and that would be today until April 30th, so only about two more weeks. Scrolling through some comments here while Beauty enjoys her chicken piece. Karen M says, love that you do forage feeding. Thank you for that, Karen. Yeah, we really try to shake things up for our cats and um, you know, give them a little diversity in their daily schedule. Um, you'll see the forage feeding, you'll also see um, cooperative feedings when there's multiple cats in a caretaker or excuse me multiple cats in an enclosure you'll have two caretakers cooperatively feeding each cat um, and then of course uh, you know just more traditional methods where a caretaker is just there with tongs and feeding the cat its diet I see a comment uh, Judy was saying no donation button on my desktop uh, you know what, Judy, sometimes Facebook can be a little funky sometimes. The donate button shows up for some and not others. Um, but the most sure, fast way to, to donate here to the Wildcat Sanctuary would just be going right to our website, www.wildcatsanctuary.org. Um, uh, and obviously another sure, fast way is just calling us, 320-245-6871. All right, Miss Beauty. I'm kind of holding out, hoping that once Beauty's finished her meal, she'll want to come and rub on her box a little longer. 
but we'll just hang out with this pretty lady for a little longer here. Oh, and she says, oh, but it's time to sit and groom and bask in the sun. I don't blame you, beauty girl. Ah, thank you, Karen, for providing our phone number. Judy Simon found it, donated. Awesome. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can never, ever, ever say thank you enough here at the Wildcat Sanctuary for all that you guys provide our residents. Holy cow, 2,900 stars. Thank you, those who have uh, given stars during this post as well. That's been a fun new little feature that Facebook has added for nonprofits to garner donations. One star equals one cent. This has been a long live post, hasn't it, beauty? Yeah, but I know everyone loves spending time with you. If you tune in partway through, everyone, you're tuned into the Wildcat Sanctuary. You've been spending some time with Link's Beauty. You can hear some of our other lion residents singing in the background. We talked a little bit about Beauty's story. We talked a little bit about Beauty's habitat. We talked about her diet. We've covered all the bases, haven't we? Of course, we've talked about Miracle Match. And, of course, I've been enjoying uh, spending the afternoon with you, our followers, and Beauty. I'm going to hold out just a second longer to maybe see if she'll go back to her, her scented box there. But if not, that's totally okay. <laughs> Nadia's saying, we don't mind the, the long live posts. That's, that's great. I mean, it's more time that I get to spend with you guys and more time we get to spend with the cats together. Isn't that right, pretty lady? Yeah, are you purring? <laughs> Yep, there's your fanny. No peeing on me. Yeah. All right, beauty. This is another one of favorite, uh, a favorite activity of beauties is just coming over and um, having you mar or uh, revel in her, uh, revel in her beauty here. And I, uh, I certainly appreciate her coming and saying an up close hello to us as we crawl to the end of our post. But hey. Fun post regardless, everyone. Lots of information about beauty. Lots of information about Miracle Match. Um, I hope everyone has been enjoying themselves as much as I have. See, beauty is a little uh, tuned in to her tiger neighbor across the way. I see if I can zoom all the way in. I see Dash uh, chewing on a toy, <laughs> kind of rolling around over there doing his typical uh, Dash daily activities. Up to no good. But uh, fun post regardless. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm um, looking forward to that cheetah post. That's going to be coming this afternoon um, sometime between 3 p.m. Central Standard Time and 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And that will be um, on the road as Kelly and Teresa are heading back from the rescue with Kitu and Lavani. For now, hope everyone has a great rest of their Thursday. Beauty certainly will, with uh, all of you awesome supporters behind her, making sure she's having the best wildlife possible. And uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in today, and we'll see you on a live post soon. Bye, everyone.